and only right and fitting that two referees at the top of their game should be refereeing the gold medal match in the Velox EHF Final Four. If you've just joined us, you're very welcome to Cologne, the Lanxess Arena. There are 20,000 people in the stadium to watch this game. One hour of top-level handball to come. The teams, Hamburg, line up in defence with Janssen, Hens, Duvniak, Vori, Lievski, and Lindbergh. And in attack, it's noticeable, goes in on the line. Victor Tomas, Gurbindo Dani, Rutenka, and on the left wing is Juanin. And Saric gets the nod in the goal. First shot from Gurbindo. Gets the shot, but gets the free. Ball at the nine metres. And Danny, those dancing feet. Lovely ball to the Gurbindo. That's a great little goal. Breaks in between one and two and scores easily. But Lindbergh breaks quickly, gets it to Hens. Hens to Lievsky. Great pass across now to Janssen. And Janssen hits the post. And it's going to be Barcelona's ball because Saric never touched it. Went over the sideline. Ball gets to Rutenka. Rutenka all the way across to Gurbindo. Tries to come back inside. And Vori gives him the eyeball as he lies on the ground. And they start again from nine metres. Rutenka is one of his favourites. Arna calls it that he's down. And it comes back at to nine metres again. Hans Lindbergh looking very youthful, 95 goals. Tries to drop the ball into the line there. Rutenka Nodesbo falls over another Dane. Hans Lindbergh, 31 years of age, 95 goals he's got, and he still looks like a little boy. So young looking. Quanin to Danny. Good defence in the middle by Hamburg, but it's outside that Barcelona will score the goals, but Danny goes for a wild one. Ball is uh, hit out, but the referee say goalkeeper's ball. And Duvniak has it. And Hens is on the run, but he doesn't jump. Duvniak does, and it's saved by Saric. Carries on. Notice breaks, fast break, and well done, Hens, to come back. But, referee, oh, he's reaching for his pocket, and you can't, he's not pulling out... Uh, Two minutes, it's a yellow card for Pascal Hens, but great defending. And Saric carries on when he left off in the Atletico Madrid game. Look at this, Dubniak all the way through past Vinan, and a save by Saric, and Nodesbo tries to break, can't do it, keeps his eye on the goal. Great defence from Hens, and the ball starts at nine metres. Rutenka bounces, tries to go again, can't do it. Second time he's tried it, hasn't worked. Danny tries to go through, can't do it, Vordy has a little word with him. Notice Bo steps in and says, get away from my little friend. Oh, the crowd don't like it, Vordy. Vordy was very lucky not to get a few more two minutes yesterday with some of his, uh, some of his antics in defence. And there's no need for that. Look at that, the hand goes across the face. Now Danny has a little go back. Then he says, hey, hang on a minute. And Notice Bo steps in and breaks it up. So... It's a stressful occasion. Danny tries to go through, can't do it. Easy save for Bitter. Still 1 0 to Barcelona, 3 minutes 35 on the clock. And Duvniak slows it down. Magnus is in there. I wonder how his ribs are. He's just in the middle there with Viran as the centre block. Notice Bow alongside him and then Gorbindo. A big problem for them in defence is the right back position and also an attack. And look at this movement from Lindbergh. Vordy tries to go through, can't do it. Great defence. Yedlmer steps back with him all the way, but it gets across to Lievsky. That's great play by Hamburg because the defence of Barcelona was moving, was covering all the angles, and a little run off the ball from Lievsky finds himself in space and puts a pass Saric. Rutenka, Rutenka, but he's ended up on the ground, and it's going to be two minutes, and it's Lievsky. And he's an accident waiting to happen, Lievsky in defence. 
because he at least gets two to three two minutes in a game and Javi Pasquale's not happy it's the push while he's in the air and Ruteka comes down heavy and Lievsky's off for two minutes not the strongest part of his game defending and look you see what he's done here pushes him when he's in the air that is such a dangerous tackle and everyone's to sit down and that's it that is not good enough because he's got to look after the care of the player while he's in the air like that and he could really he could have hit his head he could have really hurt himself and he landed with no chance to get his arms underneath him and two minutes is the least of Lievsky's worries there as Rutenka gets gingerly off the floor so power play for Barcelona after only four minutes of the game and Rutenka looks in serious pain and why the crowd is giving Rutenka the bird is beyond me because he is the completely the innocent party in that situation there he takes his shot scores his goal and he's pushed in the air and uh, Xavi Pascual is told by Rutenka I cannot go back on at the moment I am in too much pain let's just see how that works out but it looks like Entrerias will come on in place of Yendemur when they make that change. Hamburg playing with five out on the court and goalkeeper. So it's a power play for Barcelona. And Stranowski has been given the job of following Duvniak, but not too close. He lets him move with the three steps, maybe then to try and steal the ball. Pascal Hens and watch Stranowski covering him. Laskovic, where's he going? Gets it to Lindbergh. Lindbergh goes back inside. Oh, tries to go again. Tries to curl it in over Saric. No chance. But the speed with which Lindbergh moved there nearly caught out the, the Barcelona defence. Well done, uh, Noticebo, covering his teammate Moros there. Laskovic covered by Tomas. And you see what Barcelona are doing here. They're stepping out, they're touching, but then they're letting go, keeping their bodies as a block so they don't get two minutes and not call for holding. Watch it again, Viran. Oh, that's unlucky. Touches the fingers of Viran. Goes under the despairing dive of Sadic. And it's 2 2, and they've scored against the head. Have a look at it again. Just touches off the wrist. And Ryder, that's a horrible one for the goalkeeper. He's really got no chance. He's got the flight of the ball covered until it takes that deflection. Now, 6 and 5, power play, 46 seconds left. Lovely ball out to the wing to Stranowski. Ah, it's a great save by Bitter. Stranowski almost had too much time there. Great save by Bitter. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful save. Hence again. Lindbergh waits, gets it back to Hens. Hens goes for the shot, saved by Saric. So the shot not going in from Hens today. 12 seconds left on the power play. Barcelona hasn't scored and uh, Hamburg has. So it's 2-2. And Rutenka really doesn't deserve that. It's a poor pass stolen by Lindbergh. And you could see Nodesbo was moving away from the block that he made. And if he'd stayed where he was, the ball would have come to him. But Danny comes on now in the left wing in place of Stranowski. He can't believe that he missed that left wing shot there. And you see Nodesbo's moving away. Nodesbo hasn't been at his best uh, this season, but he did play well yesterday. I'll be interested to see if he can replicate that somewhat today. Igor Vordy is in a little bit of pain. He asks him to step away from the player and... Uh, Yevsky with the ball. So, power play is over. Six minutes, 46, gone on the clock. It's 2-2. Gold medal match. Velux, EHF, final four. Ball into Vori. Looks for the player. It's Hens. Hens back to Yevsky. Wild shot. And the kind of shots that were going in for them yesterday are not going in today just yet. Danny to Gurbindo. That's brilliant from Gurbindo. Straight through the gate. With no care for his own, his own well-being, and it's a great goal, really well worked, almost stolen by Vidan, but it's going to be a nine-meter ball. Hamburg started again. Gurbindo high, 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 and hence they did this against Gielsi yesterday. Strangled the two halfbacks. Look at Notice Bow out high again. Now Duvniak goes in, but look, Viran's covering, and they have left the right wing wide open. No, Danny steps across the cover now. 
but there's always the four men in the middle so there's two going towards the ball and Duvniak, even though he made himself a little bit of space it wasn't quick enough and Viran covered him so look at the push in there the right wing is wide open the shot and there's the same the same push and I even hear the bang over here of uh, Pascal Hens lying on the ground and uh, that's not good enough from Jesper and he's gone in with the elbow there and that's I mean Pascal Hens could have really hurt himself he's still down I mean that's some bang I heard the bang over here that is really not good enough two minutes though the referees have done what they can do Jevski did exactly the same thing down the other end so now it's a power play to Hamburg and that will wake Pascal Hens up I'll tell you that hope he's okay looks okay and he's walking a bit gingerly I mean two minutes cold clock has stopped at 8.13 and it starts again and Barca are winning by the odd goal at the moment KG that's what you'd have to say about this game at the moment Pascal Hens and all of those shots were going in yesterday they were going into the angle of the goal but right now Pascal Hens has taken two shots no goals So Danny in the centre now, Juanin and Rutenka goes in on the line, a position he knows well. Look at that, Corpindo again, and it was the same breakthrough, but uh, Thomas wins the ball back in the rebound, but Corpindo, same between one and two, nice ball into Rutenka, but he can't, it was a bit early for him. Thomas almost steals it, tried that yesterday, missed it, and then comes back. Oh, and it's travelling, says the referee. Saric breaks it out, looks for Danny, finds Danny Sarmiento. This side is open. And it's a ball to Juanin, and oh, when he's inside and saved by Bitter. And the game suddenly sparks to life very, very quickly. And Juanin comes off, and Viran comes on, and uh, there's 42 seconds left in the power play for Hamburg. And you see here, he's down. Good call by the referee to see it at that speed. Amazing. Vordy. Looks around, God, it's a lovely ball, but the referees have called travelling for that little pirouette, the little spin Vordy did. He was expecting someone to be there, and they weren't there. And then he tried to play it across to Hans Lindbergh, but he turned on his foot like that, full 180, and that was travelling, said the referee. <laughs> and um, we've had five goals in ten minutes of handball. When you think of the two games involving Kiel, 72 goals yesterday, 61 goals today, it's amazing, neither of them have scored for, well, three minutes Barcelona and five for Hamburg. Rutenka. Rutenka, it's beautiful. Looks like he's going to the far corner and somehow twists his wrist at the last second to put it near post. Pascal Hens finds Lievski, outsteps uh, Danny. There's something going on in here. And Magnus Jernemur gets a yellow card. And he says there was an elbow in my face, and he's having a word with the Norwegian referee. And he want to keep. And there's the elbow. You see it. It's not wrong, but he's holding on to. And he does it again, Vordy. And he did that yesterday as well with the elbow. There's no place for elbows in handball. Very, very dangerous. Anyway, 4-2. Must have been some holding that the referee saw originally. Anyway, Duvniak with the ball, plays it to Dievsky across the nine-meter line. No one near him. Jumps and scores, and it's 4-3 to three with 11-10 gone in the game. Danny, little ball to notice ball, can't hold it. He's held, makes the meal of it. And notice ball really needs to start holding those balls coming into him. Let's have a little look again. He's turned well enough, that's good. Ah, well done for he gets his hand in, but then pulls him down. Gurbindo, Gurbindo, looking for a pass, finds it to Danny. Danny back to Rutenka, Rutenka, that's super from Rutenka, but the shot isn't worth, the shot isn't worthy of what, uh, what came before. And he misses, and hence is the ball, and now Duvniak, how good was he yesterday? Yernemur absolutely hauls him out of it, and Magnus is on a yellow card already. Cracked rib and all, he's still going to play this game. 
come what may. Had a good half hour break in the second half yesterday. And uh, 12 minutes gone, we've only had seven goals, but expect that to change. And the question is whether this Hamburg team can last the 60 minutes with the almost identical team playing yesterday. Lindbergh tries to break through, and it's called as an attacker foul. And his own compatriot from Denmark is the guy who steps across. Then he falls. Gurbindo gets it back to Rutenka. Rutenka says time out, and Vori gets two minutes. And if those referees say it's two minutes, it is two minutes. Crowd aren't happy. And uh, did they get the wrong man? They may have got the wrong man. But Igor Vori has got a two-minute suspension. And the game is 12 minutes old. We've had three two-minute suspensions. And there's six and one half a dozen of the other. Another referee might give it a different way, a different day. Rutenka ball back to Gurbindo out, steps hence and hauls him down. And the question is, are we going to see a rugby game today or a handball game? That is strong, strong defence from Hamburg. Gurbindo, Gurbindo all the way out to Juanin on the wing. Oh, that's special. That's razzle-dazzle. That is wonderful. Look at the spin on this ball. That is incredible. Looks even better second time round than Barcelona take a two goal lead. Oh, Lindbergh's wide open, but they closed the door on him. He wasn't quick enough to get through, and Dubniak, out of nowhere, manages to score a goal against the head in the power play. And Gurbindo has the ball now, plays it to Danny. Danny back to Gurbindo, and it's an attacker foul with the elbow. I noticed, Bo, he's got to get back. And look at this from Duvniak. It's just instinctive. Completely instinctive. Five four. Pence. Lievsky saved. No goals, says the referee. Great save by Saric. And Saric is already on 43% saves. Incredible. The man is a genius in that goal. 36 years of age. The Bosnian, but still has it. Ball to Danny. Lovely ball to Victor Tomas. And he! Whatever Juanin can do on one side, he can do on the other. That was a beautiful little goal. you got to love that technique. Brilliant play. They get him open. And then look at that. Broken wrist with a spin to boot. And Victor Tomas gives them a two-goal lead again. That is wonderful to see. Just as he's dropping to the floor, the ball breaks from the wrist over the goalkeeper's head. Hence the fight in there between Vori and Yernemur is incredible. Janssen, Janssen waits for Saric to come out. And then none of the fancy stuff for him. He just puts it in the back of the net. Danny fighting there with the notice bow. And the referee is said to calm it down, calls it back out to nine metres again. Notice Bo being pulled down there by Hens. Comes back out to the nine metre line. And it happens again. And this time, the referee calls timeout, but I think he's just calling for the floor wipers to come on. And really, the referees shouldn't have to deal with this chicanery from the players, you know? I mean, play acting, throwing themselves around. He looks at the referee with those big innocent eyes, you know? Why me? Danny with the ball. Bounces it, looking to get away with that one. Rutenka tries to go over arm, does, gets his arm pulled back by Duvniak. Nothing in it, says the referee, except a nine-metre throw. Juanin, oh, he's hit. Saved by Bitter. Arm was free. Victor Tomas manages to knock it out, but the referee says, you were inside. He can't believe it. Six to five. 
And Juanin was down there. Let's have a look now. Didn't get to see quite what happened, but Victor Damas tried to win it back. 16-13 gone in the first half. Very, very cagey, slow, defensively strong first 15, 16 minutes. Oh, Magnus Jernemur got, got another knock there from Vordy, and then Vordy fell over him, and in the meantime, Hen sends up on the ground. And they're gonna have to have a word with both of them. He kind of pulls out of him to stop himself falling over, but difficult to see exactly what happened. Vordy fell over Jernemur in the end, but difficult to see whether Jernemur just lost his footing there, or whether anything was occurring between the two of them. Whatever, the goal line referee never saw anything, therefore it's gonna be a nine hitter ball to Hamburg. The game will continue. And everything's prepared and we start again. Referees are talking to each other quite a lot in the game, I have to say, you can see them in their microphones. Lievsky. Whistles in the mouth, Lievsky, oh, and he's hit on the way through by Yernemur. And uh, Lievsky ends up on the ground, he's strapped up to that, look at that, all that strapping on the leg. Great defence by Nodesbo, did he take the arm on the way through there? He definitely got the body across, but was there any more in it? The four wipers are on again, and this game is stop, start, stop, start, it is the final game. You can understand there being some nervousness. You're not going to expect both teams to suddenly, in a final, go out there and start playing platinum handball. But uh, it's an interesting game nonetheless. Very strategic, strong, physical defences. And at the moment, everybody feeling the other out. Duvniak tries to go past Viran. Absolutely no chance. And Viran brings all his experience to bear. His 32 years to face this Absolutely wonderful Croatian player. He's gone again on his own and he tries to break past and it's a yellow card this time for Grubindo, but you can see what Barcelona have decided. They're doubling up on, on uh, Duvniak. They're trying to get across, cover those angles and look at Grubindo staying with him. That's a great shot there, absolutely brilliant. One trying to break through, the other trying to stop him. Wonderful stuff. Lindbergh on the wraparound, looks again, they tried this one yesterday, nice ball to Vordy, but he's not going to turn these two big guys, and he dives on the ground, and Gurbindo may get it two minutes, or is he just going to have a word with him? Two minutes. Two minutes for Gurbindo. And I'd like to see that one again, because Yernemur and Gurbindo got behind him, that's for sure. Vordy tried to turn them. Let's have a look again now. He comes from inside, no problem there. And there is absolutely nothing in that at all. And Vordy dives on the ground and then suddenly looks up to see what the decision is. But it's a two minutes and it's a power play to Hamburg, which means we now have two two minutes we've had for Barcelona and two two minutes for Hamburg in this first half alone. Power play begins. And it's slow again. Build up play from Hamburg. Great ball out to Lindbergh from Hens. That's well worked. Really well worked. Really, really well worked. And uh, Lindbergh had all day to score the goal. And it's six to six. And they wasted no time at all to score the goal, that's for sure. So it keeps them, gives them even more time in this power play. 122 left, Montoro on in the right back position. If he can get a shot on target, this guy's good. And he jumps, no he doesn't, he plays it back to Danny. His footwork is not the best, he gets back out again. Victor Tomas tries to jump over a few guys much bigger than him, but Danny does. And Danny scores a wonderful goal. 
A player down, their movement scores a goal, but Danny, even faced with the much larger defence of uh, Hamburg, scores a good goal, and Hamburg continue it down to Lindbergh. And in the power play, Barcelona have scored against the head, and there's 51 seconds left on the Gorbindo Sinbining. Liebski all the way across the Anson. That wasn't as good a ball as the one from Hens. And Juanin is waiting for a long ball over the top. Laskovic can't pick it up. He's held up by Magnus Jernemer, who holds him. Then let's go over him and then uses his body to just push him out. And a timeout is called by Martin Schwalb in Hamburg after 19 minutes and 17 seconds of the first half, with 31 seconds remaining in the Sindin. So Schwalbe and uh, Javi Pasquale have their words with the with their teams. Great shot at the stadium. Sad to think there's only 40 minutes of Champions League handball remaining. 10 minutes in this first half and another half hour and then we have to wait till next year till it all starts again. The Velocity Jeff Champions League, the best handball competition in the world, the best sporting competition in the world. Now, his mother should have told him, you should pick on someone your own size. Now, nice uh, save from Saric. The breakout is Viran Moros. Hans Lindbergh almost stole it. They're a goal down and they've missed the chance in the power play to score another one. And uh, the referees want a little bit of tape picked up off the floor. Good save, and then the ball comes out. And it's uh, eventually good reactions. And uh, Rokas Comas is on. And once again, Xavi Pascual utilising his entire squad. Montoro makes his way on. Rutenka stays on, but he doesn't play in defence. And that leaves him all the power. Look at Danny trying to break through. Does nearly, but uh, can't get past Matthias Floor. Good movement by Matthias Floor to close the gap between himself and Lindbergh and give Danny no angle. But Rutenka has the ball now and he scores another. And I don't know how he does it. He doesn't jump that high. He doesn't even shoot that hard. But it's the placement of the ball. Hence, had a great game yesterday. Haven't seen it yet today. And now it is the man who had a great game yesterday. But he's trying to play Barcelona on his own at the moment. Dem uh, Domagoj Duvniak. And he's only got one from three. And now Laskovic makes his way on in place of Hens. Laskovic, Laskovic! Save, but great defence by Magnus Jernemur. He looks all right. The man with the cracked rib dives headlong. Great defence. Look at this. This is worth watching. He leaves his player. He leaves the line player because he realises the danger's coming. He reads the situation, and that is the mark of a top athlete, to read that situation and to get himself across. Hamburg keep the ball. Two-goal lead for Barcelona. Duvniak, oh, double step. Comes back to Laskovic, gets to Janssen, and Janssen makes no mistake from that left wing. And now Janssen has two from three. And he is, percentage-wise, doing better than all others except Lindbergh, who's on one from one. So Rutenke again tries to go past them and travels, barges, call it what you will. Hamburg get the ball, and it's a one-goal game. Laskovic out to Janssen, but it's a poor pass. And Floor had made it down to the line, but he'll have to come off and Forty will move back in. And it is Lievsky, who obviously Martin Schwalbe said, you're not defending anymore because uh, after I think he got two, two minutes yesterday. And they've gone to a 4-2. Look at Danny. And uh, the middle is, ah, oh, that's a great goal by Lievsky. Sarando, so lazy. The two wingers had gone out to cut off the left-hand side of the attack. 
and he didn't do his job and it's gone in off the post and off bitter from Rutenka and Rutenka is now showing the world how good he is he's on four from five hits the post off the elbow of bitter and absolutely no doubt there are of course uh, there is of course goal line technology and hasn't been seen uh, yet in the Velux CHF Final Four this weekend but should there be any issue over a goal the referee can call time go over and check the replay on the special goal line technology it'll take about 10 seconds and then he will make the decision on whether it's a goal or not and what, uh, who will have the ball so it'll be interesting to see do we need to see it Laskovic, oh that's good oh he's been pushed by Vordy in the back into someone else it's a free out and that's not going to be all Viran Moros is down and it's a push by Vori into the other player no other sanction against him he's down on the ground and look at this Vori pushes him into Laskovic and he hits his shoulder, his face off the shoulder of Laskovic. That's going to hurt. Good call by the referees. Not at two minutes, but still not, not a very... Uh, look, there's the push right in the back. And he pushes him straight into the shoulder. All right, it wasn't too hard, but it, it still wasn't nice. Viran is OK. And there's a, lot of, there's a lot of tough little niggly tackles and plays out there today very cagey 17 goals in 16 in 23 minutes of handball not a lot the defense is definitely on top Danny Serrando comes back around to Rutenka second line the far side nice ball to Serrando tries to turn can't do it Danny with the ball again. Montoro, Danny. Will Montoro get it? He does, just about. Danny gets back out. Stranowski plays him the ball. Still a double line. Winger wide open on the far side. Montoro from nine metres gives it to Serrando. Fight in there in the line. The card is coming out and it's coming out from Matthias Floor, number seven. And we're saying it's only nine metres again. And what I find incredible, that even falling, these guys are still looking at the goal. Look at his eyes, wide open on the goal, looking to take the shot, but in the end, just has no angle. But great to see. 24 minutes gone. Barcelona versus Hamburg in the gold medal match of the Velux EHF Final Four. And Dutenka drops it, no fouls as the referee, out steps Rokas Comas, refs aren't going to call that. Duvniak tries to go through, plays it, he's fouled. And the ball was over the end line, says the referee, that's why it's an eye meter throw. Janssen to Duvniak, Duvniak to Lievski, he's all the way through. And that is Jernemur, actually had a little bite at him there from behind, then took his hands away, and now Vordy's off. Schwalb has seen that uh, perhaps he's not too far away for maybe another two minutes. And so he puts on the big Andre Snilson, who's a big guy, good player, but pushes him out, Yernemur, and then great save, but another free throw. Laskovic went past three, they cut off all the angles, and uh, Saric really had them covered. Look at this, Montoro, not great, but look at the other two. Then Rokas Comas comes over, and Saric knows he just has to wait near post to knock it out. Bielski, brilliant. Great save. Lindbergh, no, Danny gets it and he's pushed. And so it's a free throw. And <laughs> Saric looks for him. Where are you? Finds him behind him. Uh, Rokas Comas to Montoro. Montoro to Danny. Danny into Sarando. That's a nice little goal. Nice little goal. Nicely worked. And Sarando absolutely boots it back. Not the fastest, but if he gets the ball, he can be very clever. He can also be a little bit too subtle on the line. Needs to be a bit more clinical. Well, that was a good goal, and they're two goals ahead, 25-40. It's anyone's game. It's in the melting pot at the moment. Lindbergh, he's only on one from one. He hasn't seen the ball. It's all happening in the middle with the big, giant backs of Hamburg. He really is a fast-break goal. Great save. Great save by Saric. He is on 
47% now. Bitter on 33 in the save ratio. Laskovic out to Janssen. Back to Laskovic. Hand will be going up for passive play soon. I would say no. Ball into Nielsen. That's brilliant by Nielsen. Absolute dead cert. Nailed on penalty. The movement from Nielsen was good. Great save from Saric, it has to be said. But uh, yellow card for Cedric Sarando. And you can see he's just falling backwards. And that's where it happened that it's a penalty. Although he just takes his hands away, he leaves the left hand in and that's what does it. So Lindbergh, penalty taker, fast breaker. That's how you get 95 goals in the Champions League. And that's how you get 96 and 97. It was definitely over the line. No need for the goal line technology there. Let's have a look at it again. Right in the top corner, look at that. Nowhere else it could go. What a great guy Hans Lindbergh is. So, 10-9, to 26-59, 27. 27 minutes gone, three minutes remaining in the first half. Danny tries to play it through, hits the feet of Vori, but accidental, says the referee. He can't take his feet away. He just can't move his feet into the path of the ball. Then it's uh, a clear foul and a violation. Danny with the ball. Stranowski, double line again. Ooh, double dribble, Stranowski, just when they need it to be a bit calmer. The nerves get the better of him. Uh, might not be too long before Juanin makes his way back on. Lievsky to Duvniak. And this is Alfred Gislason said something interesting. You can win a semi-final with your seven best players, but you then can't win the final. And ha Hamburg have not changed their players, whereas Xavi Pascual is using his entire team. They will be fresher from the last 10 minutes of the game. Maybe even 15. Fight in there in the line again. Ball goes to nine metres and Hamburg retain possession. Hand is up for passive play. Laskovic held by Montoro. Outsteps Magnus Jernemur to make sure that Duvniak is nowhere to run. They have to take a shot. He goes up, he comes down, he's hit again by Montoro. Great defence, Montoro looks across, hoping he hasn't done anything wrong. And here's the shot from Duvniak. Duvniak tries to go again, and it's over the bar. And he wants something more. The hand was up for passive play. They had one shot. Uh, good decisions by the referee again. And now Rutenka, 10 to 9. Stranowski, second line is Rokas Komas. Lovely ball. They're all in there, but he manages to... He hurdles every single one of them. He hurdles every single one of them. And manages... How difficult it is not to land on anyone here and score the goal. Beautiful ball by uh, Rutenka. Look. And he manages not to land on anyone. I don't know how he did it. Look at this. Two guys on the ground. And he lands in the middle. That's pretty amazing. And the goal wasn't bad too. 11-9. Uh, Less than a minute remaining. Tough game. Tough for the referees. They've done a great job thus far. Duvniak goes down again. And I'll tell you, he, come, he has come up against a rocket of a, def of a defender in Magnus Yernemur. Look at this. Thou shalt not pass. Down he goes again. With them looking at each other, he gives them the little shimmy, and Magnus says, yeah, you can do that, but they're going down. Schwalb looks a little worried. Shot efficiency is 61% for Barcelona, only 47% for uh, Hamburg. They started again, Lievsky on the run comes Laskovic, back to Lievsky, will he jump? No. Gives it back again, no, he goes again, oh, that's great defending. Ends up on his back, but there was nothing in that at all. And it'll be a ball at nine metres and the wipers are on again, and I think they've been on and off. So much, much more than in other games. Great defending by Barcelona, their defence is so strong, Barcelona. When you think that 39 goals were scored yesterday against Kiel by this Hamburg team, and after almost 30 minutes, Hamburg have only scored nine in this game. It's absolutely amazing. Great defense from both teams, it must be added. Laskovic gets pushed out by Montoro. Montoro having a great game of defense. Levski tries to go again. His arm is pulled, but the foul was before that. And always there seems to be two Barcelona players in the way. Now Duvniak, great save by Saric. He was so... He was so on the ball there. He knew it was coming. 
and he still managed to go across. He's almost soccer-like at times in his uh, in his movement because he's not afraid to dive across and save a ball. Great by Sadic. He is now on 50% save. Nine goals he saved from nine, from 18 shots. And it's going in the top corner. And yesterday, Omeya and Palika weren't getting to those. But look at Saric. He actually gets two hands to it. That is phenomenal. What a goalkeeper he is. So there are five seconds remaining in the first half. What have they got planned? Vordy's out high on Danny and also Montoro and their man-to-man -man marking in just five seconds. Montoro, two seconds remaining. He jumps up, ball across to Entredios. <laughs> it's absolutely, it's nothing. They might have just, they might as well have just bounced the ball for five seconds. What do you say about that first half? Saric definitely on top in the goalkeeping stakes. He's at 50%, but Bitter's not uh, doing too badly himself in 31%. And the Barcelona defence is, could have been more, but well done to the referees for trying to keep it even Stevens on both sides so that we get a final, so that we don't have a situation whereby there are so many players missing on both sides and also that we have power plays all the time so Hamburg start it is Pedersen now gets the nod Vordy with the ball out steps uh, out steps Sohando on him hits the foot of Pedersen and Barcelona win the ball back great defending really quickly out without fouling cutting off the space and uh, putting Hamburg under pressure so Pedersen takes the place of Janssen on the uh, on the left wing and already Schwalbe is giving out about a decision against his team. Rutenka takes a shot. Limburg gets the rebound. Breaks, looks for Laskovic, finds him. Good windows against them. Ball goes out to Pedersen. He's playing his last game. Beautiful ball back into him. Great little goal. Lovely soft hands from Bordy. And that is one of the best goals we've seen so far in terms of team play. Pedersen moves, finds himself in space. No chance. Victor Tomas is late for the bus. And it is going to be a free throw to Barcelona at the 9 meter line. Vordy stepping out in a 5 1 defense. Three meters from the ball now, but he'll step out high again. And uh, no, he stays back in. And Barcelona were worried they might go to 5 1. Rutenka cross to Entrerios. Only saw him at the start of the half, so he's fresh as a daisy. Lovely ball to Rutenka. Rutenka out to Juanin. Juanin tries to break through. Hans Lindberg reads the run, blocks off his path. And this game has started much, much quicker than the first half. At any point, Entredios tries to go through on his own. Sorando's jersey is, uh, is being hauled off him. And uh, Martin Schwalb is giving out to anybody who listen, and he's looking straight at me. I can't tell him what to do. Oh, and Rutenka's lost it again. And <laughs> Clever, clever play by the Hamburg defence, Hans Lindbergh, but they've covered back uh, Juanin and Entrerios was in his, were in his way. He couldn't break past them. And they have the ball again, trailing by a solitary goal. Well done, Duvniak read where Rutenka was going to go and got the attacker foul. Pedersen, and now Mini Kraus, also playing his last Champions League game for Hamburg, comes into the centre to give a break to Duvniak. And that will be key towards the end of the game. Vordy's broken through, but it's saved by Sadic. But inside, defending, the referee says, and it's going to be a penalty to Hamburg and their chance to draw a level. And Xavi Pasquale cannot believe it. Brilliant. Look at that. Blocked around him. Great save by Sadic. And it's the jersey tug by Entredios. And then the push. And the arm around him that gets the penalty. And forward steps Lindbergh. Lindbergh against Sadic. Fakes him. And saved by Sadic. 
Oh, the man is a magician in that goal. He's back up to 50%. 10 from 20. That's what he's got. 10 saves from 20 shots. Look at that for a save. And just that's the difference between Barcelona and other teams. Just when the defence is breached. Lovely ball, Sarando. That's going to be a penalty too. As Janssen grabs the ball from behind. And in the first three minutes, 15 seconds of the game, we've had more action than we had in the first 30 minutes. Inside defending from Vordy. Ball from behind from Janssen. What is Schwab complaining about? There's nothing he can say about that. And Rutenka steps forward against Bitter. He shoots immediately and it's in. No, oh, Bitter dives headlong into the net to try to save it, but he can't do it. And the floor wipers on off camera to wipe up whatever sweat there is. And look at this, Bitter gets a little leg to it, but oh, goes past him. And Rutenk is delighted with that. He doesn't care. And they start again with the ball. Lievsky looking for someone in the entire the entire Hamburg team ended over on the right wing there. Very, very strange movement. Mix up somewhere along the line. Mimi Kraus with the ball, plays it to Laskovic, outsteps uh, Entredios. Kraus, that's brilliantly stolen by Victor Tomas. Then manages to get the left hand to it. Jumps, waits, ah, that's a great goal. But it's the steal. And then the wherewithal to wait so he doesn't double dribble. And then the jump, how high can he jump? The spring in his leg is unbelievable. No chance for Bitter. And what was a one-goal game is suddenly a three-goal game with the blink of an eye. Mimi Kraus to give Duvniak a break, but the, definitely the level has dropped. The shot from Saric, uh, shot from uh, Lievsky is saved by Saric, but the referee decides it's going to be a nine-meter ball. So on come the floor wipers again. And there's no doubt about it that when Duvniak is not playing with this Hamburg team, the level drops substantially. But he couldn't be expected to play two hours. Well done, Victor Tomas read that. See what he waited. He waited. Then he puts in the sprint. Look at that jump. Waits, 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 waits. And over the head of Bitter. That's a wonderful goal. Kraus, lovely ball to Vordy, Vordy, and it's going to be a penalty, says the referee. And you see what happened, it's the... Vordy is... Vordy's trying to turn, he has the ball, and just there... Well, it looked actually from my angle that uh, someone had touched the ball in his hand, but when you look at it there, nothing happened. So, another penalty, it's Lindbergh against Saric. And it's a goal this time. And Lindbergh does... What all good penalty takers should do is score the goal. Throw it hard, throw it fast. And then see what happens. And look, no chance for Saric to react. Rutenka, lovely ball. Oh, all the way over to Juanin. Super save! Bitter, Juanin had all the time in the world. Great angle created by Entredios. The reverse ball from Rutenka. Ball into the line again to Vori and another goal and Vori's killing them in there. And he's got a penalty and then another goal and it's a one goal game. And Vori, the size of him in there, is causing them all kinds of problems but he's hurt himself in the process and he's down on the ground. And Barcelona wait with the ball to see what will happen. Brilliant by Vordy. He's so big, he's so strong. Super ball by Kraus. Look. Absolutely amazing. No chance for Sadic there. You could argue that his knee hits early, but goal stands. He's hurt himself. And there's Schwab winding up the Hamburg fans that are sitting just behind us here in our commentary position. And the drums are rolling in the deep. It's an incredible atmosphere here. This first six minutes of the second half has more than made up for the first 30 minutes, which were a dour, dull affair. Defense is on top and not much else happening.
Well, it's obviously being lost in translation. They're being asked to put their hands up in the air, but they're clapping their hands. Maybe they don't quite get the lyrics of the song. Anyway, let's go on with the game. Barcelona 13, Hamburg 12. Rutenka, Gurbindo, Gurbindo sidesteps, uh, Duvniak steps out on him. Good defence, Gurbindo goes again, tries to go near post. Great dangles by Bitter. Bitter gives him the dirty eye. As if to say, I had you covered all the way. And Entrerios, lovely ball to Rutenka. Rutenka gets one in the face, still goes on, but it's going to be nine metre throw. He wanted more, he got one in the face the first time, but Laskovic covered him. And this Hamburg team is not going to lie down to the mighty Barcelona. Shot, save, foul beforehand from Janssen. And at the moment, seems to me that the Barcelona players are trying to do it single-handedly. They need to work as a team. Oh, almost stolen by Duvniak. Great. No, he went down, but it wasn't a foul. Ball breaks to Lindbergh. Lindbergh picks it up, plays it inside to Duvniak! Oh, and it's two minutes for Juanin! And it's only a six-minute break he had on the bench. And already... He looks like a man who's had eight hours sleep, woken up fresh as a daisy. Look at him move. Limburg waits for the cavalry. Juanin tries to hit it out of his hand. Saric has no chance. And it's a tied game at 13-13. And not only do they score the goal, but to rub salt in the wounds, it's a power play now. As Juanin is sin bin for two minutes. And Xavi Pascual starts to work out the permutations. Gurbindo with the ball. Rutenka. Stranovsky on now and Entredios. Tomas, oh, that's good movement from Tomas. Almost sold Peterson all the way down the river. Yellow card for Xavi Pascual for whatever reason. Somebody from the table must have stood up and uh, he must have been complaining about something. Gurbindo, nice pass to Entrerios. Entrerios to Tomas. Tomas is pushed. Play on, says the referee. Tomas goes on his own. And as he scored it, no, four steps, says the referee. And he says, I bounced it. And uh, he's absolutely right, the referee. Well done. That's a really good decision. <laughs> ah, that's great. 113 left. Gurbindo, that's a beautiful goal. Near post, left handed. And Gurbindo now has three from four and they've been three great goals look at that that is sensational bitter wasn't expecting it and uh, they score against the head to take a one goal lead in the game 14 to 13 hamburg if you've just joined us well you've missed eight and a half minutes of the second half and they've been exceptional hamburg playing from right to left all in wide against barcelona Hens back on the court, stolen again by Victor Tomas. Sells Lievsky the dummy. He's all alone and he scores it. Victor Tomas, the second steal of the game in exactly the same position. And I'm nearly sure exactly the same pass from Mimi Kraus. And they've scored against the head again. Kraus, Hens. Oh, this game now has just suddenly burst to life. It's as if they know they've only 30 minutes in which in width. I'll, I'll try again. Hens, Lievsky, elbows, yes. Great decision by the referee. Puts the elbow out as he tries to break through. Stranovsky and I think it was Entrerios closed the door. And he leads with the elbow. You see it here now. There you go. Stranovsky takes one in the nose. Down he goes. Attacker foul, 100%. And there's why. Brilliant, brilliant refereeing. It's almost as if in the dressing room they realised they had 30 minutes in which to win this game. And they've suddenly sparked into life. Great defending from Matthias Rohr, an unsung hero in this Hamburg team. Oh, they're wide open again. That's a great pass. Could have been a brilliant save. A oh, brilliant save. Oh, let's see it again. How did he do it? Mimi Kraus. Goal! 15 to 14. And what could have been a three goal lead is only a one goal lead. Kraus saw the gap. No chance for Jernemur to come across. 
Sohando double teamed Vody and left the gap down the middle and it's a one goal game and how much does that mean to that man leaving Hamburg at the end of the season what's going on we hear something from the crowd a push in there between Rutenka he's always going to get the bird and uh, the referees say it's a 9 metre throw and it's Jansen Vody and Rutenka a little uh, triangle of push and shove in there and there he goes in again the crowd don't like him here in Germany that's for sure and Tredios lovely ball to Stranovsky but he's outside and uh, the referees say it's a sideline ball the ball played and Duvniak has it again and it's only one goal in it and you've heard the sporting expression a game of two halves well this is a game of two halves Hamburg suddenly injecting a bit of emotion into the occasion really getting the German fans on their side Peterson, Laskovic, lovely ball to Vordy, can't turn, Mimi Kress, beautiful pass, oh that's wonderful handball from Hamburg, that is, as they say in German, schön. So the double line causing Barcelona some problems. And Vori's the big problem because they don't know what to do with him. Do you mark him with one man or do you mark him with two? And Tredios, Gurbindo, Gurbindo, sides a pal down by Torsten Janssen. But the referees have seen it and it's going to be a nine metre throw. 15 15 the score. <laughs> Terrible shot, really, by Tredios, blocked by the defence. And knocked over the end line by Bitter. Lovely ball to Vori! They take the lead in the game. 16-15 Hamburg. And the crowd is on their feet. The Germans supporting the Germans. And it's a timeout for Barcelona. And what could have been with the Victor Tomas miss, a three-goal lead has suddenly become a one-goal deficit. So Hamburg have scored three on the trot to put themselves a goal ahead in the tie. And Xavi Pascual calls the troops ashore for a timeout. So some great action shots there. The Barcelona team are still in their huddle for the timeout. They've uh, been told to get themselves ready. Schwalbe is asking the question, why are we not uh, playing anymore? The Hamburg team is ready. Let me just give you a rundown of who's in there in the defence. It's on the right wing, Hans Lindberg. Matthias Rohr inside him. Duvniak playing in the centre back. Torsten Janssen outside him and Pedersen on the left wing. Yogi Bitter still in goal. And now Vori out front in the 5-1 in attack for Barcelona. It is Juanin Rutenka, center of Tredios, Corbindo, Victor Tomas, and uh, Jesper Nodespo back on the line. And now he's called where he's got him to go. And here we go, a little switch with Jesper. There it is. Jesper doesn't know where to go. And Tredios steps back outside again. Rutenka. Oh. You just got to watch, learn, enjoy when this man shoots. Look at this. Pulls them level again, 16-16. He's got six from eight. 75% goal scoring ratio. The man is just incredible. Pedersen goes in second line again, same move and no, Laskovic goes for it this time. And once again, the little... Uh, the little hit off the hand of the defenders takes it past Saric. Laskovic, yep. Little nick deflects the direction of the ball. 
And in goes Rutenka, and he's got no chance to score there. The defence had him covered, and he gets the bird again. And I'll tell you, all you're doing is firing this boy up. That's all you're doing. He'll go again and again and again until he scores. Tredios, poor shot. Knocked in, inside, says the referee. Ball breaks, Hamburg leading by the solitary goal. Duvniak again to Mimi Kraus, to Duvniak. All the way across to Pedersen. Oh, that's a super goal. Two goals up, and did anybody expect this from Hamburg? I didn't. 18-16, they lead. Gurbindo, Entrerios. Martin Schwalb looks as calm as you like on the sideline. Like he's going for a stroll with the family on a Sunday afternoon. Lovely ball into notice ball. That's a super ball from Juanin. So simple in, in its uh, execution. Look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. The way Nodisbo makes that space for Juanin to put it into the defender behind him. 15 minutes gone. Tight, tight game. Barcelona took a two-goal lead into the second half, but that's been turned around by Hamburg. Mimi Kraus all alone. Oh, he's travelled. He's travelled. Saric has it. Looks for Victor Tomas. Victor Tomas goes alone. What's he going to do? He goes alone. Oh, he goes alone. Where was the defence? I mean, where was the Hamburg defence? That's passion. They go with Nodisbo. Oh, it's Laskovic slips going with Nodisbo. Opens the gate. Opens the gate. Opens the gate for him to score. Martin Schwalb wanted uh, wanted uh, travelling, or else he didn't want travelling against Mimi Kraus, whatever it was. So 18-18, tied game, and now we have a final. Laskovic to Kraus, back to Laskovic. Laskovic tries to go past Nodesbo, can't do it. Comes back out to the nine metre line, and I get a feeling that he's resting Duvniak until the last ten minutes of the game, when maybe, maybe that will be decision time, when the game will be made. It'll be make or break in the game. Kraus again. Oh, another goal by Mimi Kraus. He's allowed stroll up to the seven-meter line and just shoot it in. Duvniak comes on in defense. Oh, uh, notice Bo needs to do better than that. Two from two from Kraus. 19 to 18, the score. Rutenka tries to turn. Matthias Floor can't do it. The fluidity of the Barcelona of last season is not there, but they're a tough nut to crack. Entredios, Entredios, all the way across. No. Peterson, and it was a foul in the middle anyway on, in on, on Entredios. Vordy's asked to step back. The floor wipers come on, and it's shirt tugging again, and a push. And now Xavi Pasquale talks to his other centre player Danny so that he knows exactly what he's to do when he comes on and the floor wipers make their way off as the fans don't actually put their hands up in the air again but there's a great atmosphere and Tredios to Rutenka oh will he get it no doesn't make it through but he's held again by Matthias Floor. Matthias Floor better be careful that's constant holding it's Rutenka Rutenka tries to get past Attacker foul, his arm was out, he'll have to come back to the 9 metre line where it happened, Bitter takes it and he wants it back again and it's still 19-18 to 18. and you see there that uh, I think that's 6 of one, half a dozen of the other really Love him or hate him though, Vordy is involved in everything that's happening with Hamburg today defensively, offensively even yesterday, he was very, very important to them. Pedersen goes in, second line, the far side again. Mimi Kraus again. Viran Moros this time steps out. Great defence from Barcelona. Look at the movement. But he scored again. And when Hens doesn't... Hens was doing it yesterday, now it's Mimi Kraus today. Oh, my word. Where are these performances coming from? And Tredios tries to go, and it's a nice goal, but the referee had always call, already called a free. 
And now it's Hamburg that lead by two, so it's been a four-goal turnaround since half-time. And it's a timeout call by Barcelona again. And a chance for us to draw breath as we see Kraus underarm. Magnus tries to get us behind in the way, and even that's not big enough to block the shot. And that's what it means to him. So we're coming up to... I think about... I'll have to wait for my clock to reappear here because it's still on the countdown to the timeout. But it's coming to that point where phys physically we will know whether Hamburg still have it in the legs. And at the moment they do not look tired. They look very, very strong and very, very fit. But you can only judge when you start dropping balls, when the brain is just not... The brain is telling the body what to do, but the body just can't do it anymore. And maybe that moment hasn't quite arrived, but uh, that was a great goal by Pedersen there. Uh, 48 minutes gone in the game, 12 minutes remaining, and no sign of Hamburg tiring. Gurbindo breaks through, but it's a foul. So there are 11 and a half minutes remaining in the game and Barcelona are losing by two. And uh, Rutenka tries to go again. Lovely ball. Danny, Danny scores it. It's a goal, says the... Is it a goal, says the referee? No, it's not a goal, says the referee. It's a free out. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It is a goal, says the referee. It's a goal. It's a goal, says the referee. Yeah, I thought I heard a double blast of the whistle. He waited to see. It was going to be a penalty. Look. The push by Floor, referee waited to see would it go in. It's a goal, and it's definitely a goal. It's 19 to 20. There's no two minutes in there, no. Absolutely sure, there are 11 minutes remaining in the game, and that is a goal scored by Danny. And you, I definitely heard a double blast of the whistle from the referee, so I felt it was a goal, but when Bitter came running out to take it, it was the arm angle that he, he it looked like he was pointing outwards for a free. But uh, definitely a goal. Look how high Danny is here. He's good at stealing a ball. If they bounce it here, he will steal it. He's, he's incredible at doing that. Vordy makes his way back in. Serrando steps out. Danny not quite getting the angles right just yet. Maybe Kraus again, but they've got them at bay. Vlievski and Sterbik. Now they bring on the even bigger Sterbik. And I mean, that is the difference between the two teams. Saric not quite in his game towards the end. Suddenly the, the, the players have got to think about a different style of goalkeeping now. And they're faced with this giant of a wall in there. Yeah, it's the Hulk. He's back. 1951. But it's all about the, the psychology of what the players have to do. They have to change their style of shooting against a different goalkeeper now. And that might take a few minutes. Oh, they've lost it! And it's broken! And it's Stuvniak! It's Stuvniak, he almost dropped it! Saved by Sterbik! Oh, unbelievable! The man is enormous! And you're looking at Duvniak, you're looking at a two-goal lead, and suddenly, look at that guy! What a player to be able to bring on in the final! Nine and a half minutes remaining, only one goal separating these two teams. And from a, a first half that was stale in the extreme, the second half has burst into life. Hams Lindbergh, and it gets all the way across to Dubniak, tries to go past Victor Tomas, can't do it. The little man held his line, and uh, Dubniak couldn't break past him. 40 with the ball, now Pedersen moves back out to the left wing. And it's as you are. Hamburg shot saved again. That's three in a row. 20 to Victor Tomas. He's all alone. What can he do? He'll score it and equalize. And there's the difference. He's on 100%. Not one goal scored against him in three shots. And Xavi Pasquale waited and waited and waited until he brought him on. And Sterbik has done wonders here. And now Schwalb has to say to them, guys... The jersey might be the same colour, but it's a different goalkeeper we have now. And Sterbik likes to go low. Yeah, he likes shots low. He doesn't... He kind of leans himself down. If they go high on him, 
Will they score more? Maybe that's something he has to say. So tweet us your thoughts here at EHFCL. We're at the Velux EHF Final Four. There are under 10 minutes remaining in the gold medal match. And if you've just joined us, well, stay tuned because this last eight, nine so minutes are going to be absolutely incredible. We've a tied game, 20 to 20. Is the physicality, the amount of energy the expended yesterday catching up on Hamburg. They'd taken three shots and missed three shots in a row. Unheard of. This was the first. Duvniak's fast break saved by Sterbik down low. And they have to do it all over again. They opened up a two-goal lead. Mimi Kraus still in the centre. Ball to Vordy. Vordy to Duvniak. Duvniak into the line to Hans Lindberg and that's good handball. And it's... Two minutes for Magnus Jernemur, and he cannot believe it. He cannot believe it. The goal counts. Two minutes for Magnus. Off he goes. Hans Lindberg stole him from the right wing. Too late. And a clip of the heel, perhaps, from Jernemur. Whether it was accidental or not, they've decided. It's a two-minute suspension, and it's 21 to 20. And ha uh, Barcelona are going to play for the next two minutes a player down so it's a power play for Hamburg leading by one with eight and a half minutes remaining in the game Gurbindo Victor Tomas Victor Tomas Gurbindo Gurbindo tries to go Danny again tries to go through he's fouled and it's going to be a nine meter throw and the clock is still ticking down it's 131 left in the power play no sign of Rutenka at the moment. Danny again. Danny the shot. Oh, what a save by Bitter. That's world class. At a moment when they needed something world class. Vidan comes on. Into the defence. What a save by Bitter. And is Hamburg's name on the cup? You don't want to tempt fate. They've nothing to play for this season. Bundesliga title, no chance. Cup is gone. So this is all they've got, and Mimi Kraus picks up where his German compatriot Scott did yesterday, and they've got a two-goal lead back again. And there it is. They're playing against five players, and they've scored twice in the power play now. 40 seconds left, lovely ball to Rutenka, saved by Bitter. Bitter's after pulling off two amazing saves in a row, and this game is still on a knife edge. You don't know which way it's going to go. But the entire German crowd is definitely, definitely on the side of Hamburg at the moment. Duvniak, Kraus, brilliant! But there's no chance, and uh, it's a foul, and it's going to be nine metres. Barcelona, two seconds on the Simbin, the shot comes in again! And it's Mimi Kraus again! Underarm for the second time in a row, and it's a three-goal lead. And there are no more timeouts left for Xavi Pascual. And our Barcelona are going to lose their second Velox EHF final gold medal match easy save by Bitter Danny goes down but Igor Vordy gets two minutes a bit late in the game now to be giving him two minutes but he's been treading on the edge of uh, legality the whole game Vordy and this time he's gone and it's the push again and he did that on Viran Moros earlier and got away with uh, got away with it and this time now Barcelona have got to score at least two goals while they are in a power play. Stolen. Pedersen to put it beyond doubt. Scored. Pedersen. Four up in Hamburg. Look like they are moving to the Champions League final. Gold medal. Hans Janssen saved by
Christ, there we go, that could have been it. Five and a half minutes remaining in the game. And it looks like Hamburg's name is on the trophy. You wouldn't have thought they would have it in them after the game they played against Kiel yesterday. But these guys, it's never say die. But Janssen has no chance to get past Derbyk. And it's a four goal lead. With only five and a half minutes remaining. Rutenka doesn't want to lose this. Gurbindo tries to go again. Door is closed by Duvniak and by Janssen. Duvniak hasn't been at his best today, but when he doesn't play well, suddenly Vori's fantastic and Mimi Kraus is amazing. I mean, you've got to hand it to the coach. He's done a great job. If they win this Champions League, he has done a fantastic job. Barcelona have to find four goals from somewhere. Montoro might find one, he does. No chance. And they've scored one in the power play and it's a three goal game. And uh, Hamburg are taking their chance to get to the centre line. Mimi Kraus comes back on again. Nice goal by Montoro. Victor Tomas high on Duvniak and Danny high on Mimi Kraus, which leaves three on four and they're all on the right hand side of the court. And there's Tomas. Pedersen, Lievski, Lievski, saved by Sterbik, rebound is Juanin's, Juanin to Danny, Danny to Juanin, Danny again, all the way through, that's going to be a penalty and two minutes to boot, or I don't know handball, and uh, there's no way Matthias Flor is staying on the court here, he's waiting for him to stand up, and now it's bye-bye, two minutes, Matthias Flor, 100%, Clock has stopped, four and a half minutes to go. 24-21, and it's a double, double suspension. And this game has got all the twists and turns of a Hitchcock thriller. Notice Bo was free, but he didn't go with him. And look at Floor, there's no way you can do that and expect to stay on the court. And Rutenka now is against Bitter. If he scores it, you never know. If he doesn't, well, well, well. And Rutenka gets the bird from the crowd as he steps forward for the for the uh, penalty. He's against Bitter. Shoots it in, he scores, and it's only two. 24-22 in the game, and we have four and a half minutes remaining. And a double suspension for the next 14 seconds at least for Hamburg. And Victor Tomas chases Duvniak all over creation out there. Pedersen. And he's blocked uh, Lievski. Lievski manages to get it back. The hand is timeout, says the referee, called by Martin Schwalb. And this is tense. Uh, tweet us at EHFCL with all your views on the game. Tell us what you're thinking. There's Xavi Pasquale. Always has an idea. Schwalb. Calm. But keeping his feet on the ground. He knows this is not over. It is in the immortal words of Sir Alex Ferguson. With just over four minutes remaining. Squeaky bum time. And at the moment, we have four Hamburg players out on the court, plus their goalkeeper. And Barcelona pressing again. And don't forget, there is. There will be a player coming back on in about 12 seconds. No, he's back on, and there's 1.30 left. They have five players now. And there's one still, it's Vori. Lovely ball to Mimi Kraus, and it's over the bar. He's missed it. And how many has he scored? And how did he miss that one? Really good play to get himself free, but couldn't get the ball past Sterbik. In fact, it hit the crossbar and the angle of the post. And now Barcelona have it again. 
four minutes just remaining. Rutenka to Montoro, out to Victor Tomas. Rutenka's free, lovely ball to the line, to Lotus Ball! It's a one goal game! Oh, it's a one goal game! And how long is remaining? There are three and a half minutes left. And now it's a game of wits, it's a game of will. There are 50 seconds remaining on the power play. And Barcelona turned the screw. Pedersen, look at Juan in against uh, Lievsky. There's a foul in there. Magnus, uh, Magnus Yernemur is told to stand up that there's no need for the play acting. Three minutes, 18 seconds remaining on the clock. A few moments ago, Hamburg had it in the bag. Janssen misses a fast break, would have been five. Now, suddenly it's one. And they're wasting time out there, there's no doubt about it. Duvniak with the ball, Lindberg, and it's Pedersen. Where are they going? They're going nowhere fast. Yes, Lievsky fell by, and that's not what Barcelona needed because now one of the big jump shooters will get a chance at nine metres to jump over a wall, perhaps and uh, Barcelona need to save this to have any chance. They really put the pressure on uh, Hamburg there. The hand was up for passive play. Victor Tomas stuck to his task. Lievsky couldn't find a way through. And it'll be heartbreaking, heartbreaking for, ha uh, for Hamburg if they lose this one, having led by four. And it could have been five, and it just shows how cruel the game can be and how quickly it can turn. Look at them all, 10 metres, Duvniak's just going to have to take a shot here. Hand is up for passive play. Ball goes, Duvniak on his own, saved by Sterbik. Where does he go? He goes to Juanin, Juanin goes to Dani. Dani looks for Rutenka, Rutenka to Victor Tomas. It's a goal! Oh no! Four goals up and it's an even match. With two minutes, 40 seconds remaining. And now, Xavi Pasquale wants a 4-2 defence. Look at that. Oh, it's just slipped out of the grasp of Hamburg. Can they find another gear? Do they have another gear? Lindbergh, Lievsky, Duvniak, Duvniak, hell by Sarando, brings it out to the nine metre. And it's a full complement for both teams. But Barcelona made the best use of the thing. Ball to Lindbergh, Lindbergh all alone. Scores it! Puts them in the lead again! 25-24! Only two minutes remaining in the game. And now Barcelona must score. Great pass by Lievsky and Lindbergh. And everyone's saying, calm down. Something's going on here. Lindbergh is giving is having a word with the uh, referees about something. Looks like Matthias Rohr got a bang in the nose, but I think he's okay. Let's have a look again. And they're saying that's barging, absolutely not. And nothing wrong with uh, Matthias Rohr. Rutenka, Rutenka, lovely ball to Montoro. Montoro over the top to Rutenka. Saved, gets it again. Goal scored, unbelievable! Unbelievable! Was he in and out there? It doesn't really matter, the man's a winner. I think he was in and out, look, gets out again. Referee says that's okay. And he manages to put the rebound. He just wants to win so badly, this man. And you know, you know you're at a final now. Velox EHF Final Four. Do not tell me that this is not the greatest game you've ever seen in your life. It's wonderful, it's spectacular, it's electrifying. Mimi Kraus with the ball. One minute, ten seconds remaining in the game. Lievsky, Mimi Kraus, 4-2 defence from Barcelona. Hand is up for passive play. Stolen by Juanin, but it's hit his leg. It's still up for passive play. There's going to be one minute remaining right now. 60 seconds. 60 seconds for someone to be a hero. Is it Lievsky? No, down he goes. Under the challenge of Juanin. And Juanin has a little go at him. And in steps Magnus. To, and Sarando's pulled back as well. And the referees have done a great job here separating the players. It's the pressure of knowing that there is a gold medal at stake here. Oh, it's absolutely magnificent. Absolutely magnificent.
the passion of these guys. They're not paid like footballers, but they train twice as hard. And they, this is just absolutely exactly what we needed. 29.07. The hand is up for passive play still. The Norwegian referees have really done well in this game. I have to give them credit. Both sets of referees today. Mimi Kraus hits the crossbar. Bounces out to Duvniak. Game starts again. No passive play. No passive play, says the referee. The shot was taken. So they can wind this clock down and score the goal. If they do, the roof will come off the stadium. It's Lindbergh. Saved by Sterbik. Oh, there are 30 seconds left. And Hans Lindbergh, when the pressure is on. Oh, no. What is going to happen now? What is going to happen? Danny with the ball. Rutenka. Foul, says the referee. Notice ball with the ball, three seconds remaining. One chance, one shot. Is this going to extra time? Step out, says the referee. Three seconds remaining on the clock. Rutenka. Juan Ian moves around. Schwalbe in my way. I step across. I keep an eye on it. Is it Montoro? Is it Rutenka? Who's the hero? It's Rutenka. Save my bidder. Save my bidder. Oh, it's going to extra time. Oh, it's going to extra time. Two times five minutes of extra time. Two times five minutes of extra time. And will the exertions of the game yesterday tell on Hamburg? In my opinion, in that last 10 minutes, they really did. You could see that the shots weren't as powerful. You could see that the team wasn't as focused. And now they've got to play another 10 minutes. And to be honest, I really don't care. Because I could watch this game now all day. Forget the first half. The second half was exceptional. Velox EHF Final Four comes to town. And Hamburg and Barcelona have divvied up a dish worthy of kings. And it's been amazing. The coaches prepare their teams to play another five minutes. Can they find any more energy, these boys? Any more energy than what they've already expended on that court over two days of competition? Remember, Barcelona won against Kielce, quite a physical game, 28-23. Hamburg won 39-33 in a high-paced match against Kiel. And now the two finalists have drawn 25-25, but who would have thought it with about six minutes remaining at Barcelona, four goals down. Incredible comeback by Barcelona, and perhaps the exertions of yesterday are catching up with Hamburg. Remember what Kislasen said, you can win the sem semi-final with your seven best players on the court for one hour, but then you can't win the final. Will those words come back to bite Hamburg? Oh. Thank you so much to all the people tweeting from Ireland and England and the USA watching the game to uh, at O'Brien T, which is my own private account. But uh, don't forget, your tweets can appear in the stadium at ehfcl.com. So don't waste them on me, guys. Get them into the, the Twitter account. Let's show the world how great our sport is. Someone uh, tweeted in to say, you have to love handball finals. This should be on. Prime time on the BBC with yours truly commentating. Thank you very much. That's a nice compliment. I just wonder would the accent be understood, you know? Anyway, we're ready to go. Can we take another five minutes of this and then another five minutes again? And then penalties. Martin Schwalb smiles ruefully. He knows he had the cup in his hand. And he will look back at that Torsten Janssen. Fast break. Arne. 
Oh, he gets some water there himself. I was going to be nice and give the referee a glass of water, but... Uh, but, uh, I mean, they are absolutely bathed in sweat. Great atmosphere here. Absolutely wonderful. So we're ready to go. Hamburg all in white playing from right to left as we watch Hans Limburg on the right wing. Dievsky, Mimi Kraus in the centre. Duvniak left back. Pedersen on the left wing. And Vori inside in the line. Defending them from left to right is Juanin. Then Notisbo, Sarando, Yernemur, Victor Tomas and Dani out front in a 5 plus 1. And that's put pressure on Hamburg today. Now the little switch, in goes Pedersen. Sarando lets him go, there's no one on the far side except Juanin. Dievsky tries to go through, Sarando has him. And then he gets another bite at him, and he stops him. 32 seconds gone in extra time. You know, if you were coach of Hamburg, you'd cry if you lost this game. Great defence by Erlenmuir, lets him know he's there. And this guy's playing with a cracked rib. Lovely defence by Danny against the big man, and you can see the physicality. Barcelona are fresher here. So Hamburg have to dig deep, find something deep within their psyche, deep within their soul, deep in their bodies. Great shot! Great shot! Great shot! Duvniak, unbelievable! Unbelievable! They're taking the lead, 26 to 25. Danny goes again, it's Rutenk again, it's Montoro again. No way, oh, the referee's called it! Oh, they get away with murder there. Duvniak buys when referee takes it. And uh, Duvniak breaks with the ball down to Lievsky and in goes Vori. One minute, 23 seconds gone. Mimi Kraus can't break through. Great defence by Barcelona and Hamburg have come out firing on all cylinders. And will Duvniak be the saviour of this team? But he missed a fast break too. Remember against Stedevic, they had their chances, Hamburg, to put this game to bed and just couldn't do it. Lievsky stolen, but it's hit the foot of Juanin. But the uh, referee says it was accidental, but it still hit your foot, so it's a free throw from nine metres. And Vordy takes it, goes back in, hands Limburg all the way around. Oh, it's Duvniak, and he scored another one! What is Sarando doing in there? Sarando needs to get out there and do his job. It's obvious that Duvniak is going to try and break through. He's a one-man goal machine. Montoro, no, doesn't go for the shot. Danny into the line. Can he turn? Jesper goes down, holding his face. The referees aren't buying anything now, and Jesper gets back up and smiles ruefully at the referee as if to say, I have to try it. Oh, Vordy comes in with the shoulder again. He just plays on the edge all the time. That is absolutely a two minutes. Look at that. That is not acceptable. And he knows what he's doing. Anyway, Jesper's okay. Steps back inside again. Half his jersey up on his arm. Two goals down, Barcelona. They still have time. Rutenka held again. Danny breaks through, gives it to Juanin. And that's a great goal. And Rutenka gives Dievsky a mouthful while he's sitting on the ground. And that little movement between Rutenka where Danny crisscrosses from the centre. Quick ball out. Lindbergh's feet aren't quick enough. And... Juanin jumps off the wrong leg and manages to score. It's a one-goal game. And they got to start it out. Start it all again. Shot dog. Bimmy Kraus out of nowhere. Scores one. Victor Tomas tries to break it. They're two goals down. There's plenty of time. There's seven minutes remaining in this game. And the way things have gone, two goals is absolutely nothing. Montoro was through there, but didn't have the wherewithal to see the gap. Brutenka is arguing with his own toenails out there. He's fighting with everybody. Danny can't take that pass because Juanin is fouled by Lindbergh. And they're still continuing whatever happened up the other end. The floor wipers are on and the referees are just checking their earpieces.
So they started again, 3.40, only one minute, 20 seconds left in this first period of extra time. Lutenka gets it across to Danny, he's through! He's fouled! No, says the referee, he's not fouled, he was straight through. Misses the goal completely. Danny looks ruefully at him. Xavi Pasquale can't believe it, I suppose. But let's have a look again. He's through, yeah, no one touches him. It's just a poor shot. Great decision, referee. And Pedersen has it again. And of Hamburg won it all over again. Two goals up now. One minute remaining in this period. Mimi Kraus tries to break through. Ball to Vordy. Vordy backs into Jesper Nodesbo. The floor will be wiped, but they will have to get up off the floor first, and then there'll be a nine-meter throw at uh, for Hamburg. Great defence from Sarando, pushes out Lievsky. But this uh, period of extra time has belonged to Hamburg, there's no doubt about that. 28-26, Lievsky goes up, tries to break through again. And Sarando suddenly found the light in his uh, eyes. And he's stepping out and he's doing his job. Mimi Crow, oh no, Duvniak saved by Sterbik, but there's only seven seconds remaining. Now six, now five, but I'm sure the clock will be brought back again. It looks 4.54 on the... Uh, the monitor in the stadium, so I wonder will the clock be brought back to that? No, the same 4.55. Ball is broken quickly to Victor Tomas. Victor Tomas takes a shot and for absolutely nothing, but the time was already up. It's going to be a free throw. There goes the Hooter. And there's one shot remaining. And Montoro's going to take it. And uh, even standing still, this guy, 2 meter 11, is... Uh, is uh, taller than the wall. Well, I don't know what that was, but he had to take the shot anyway. So, Hamburg are winning it uh, by two, 28-26. There's another period of extra time now. Everybody moves to the opposite side, and the question is whether or not Barcelona can come out firing in this period. Now it's Hamburg's to lose, and when it was Hamburg's to lose earlier, well, they almost lost it. So the teams have had their chances to talk to each other. They'll have to prepare themselves for this next five minutes to just, to just, five more minutes, they just have to dig deep now. This next five minutes is the difference between a gold medal in your pocket, a Champions League title in your pocket, and a silver medal. And that's everything. And how can Schwab still laugh? Well, I suppose if he didn't laugh, he'd cry. So let's get going again now. Hamburg are playing from left to right as we view Velox UHF Final Four gold medal match for an extra time. Second period. It's as you were for Hamburg, except Janssen is on the defence now. And Janssen's a bit of a liability. And we are now saying that there's a problem from the table. And the table is saying that it has to start again, that we haven't started the clock. And Barcelona is as you were completely. So the only change is Torsten Janssen, who's on in place of... Well, I can't remember who he's on in place of, to be honest with you. But he's on in defence anyway. Number five, Matthias Flor on the other side, number seven. Barcelona in the jersey we know, we recognise. And it's Juanin Rutenka, Dani. It's Gurbindo now, Montoro taking a little break. And Victor Tomas, and they've only five minutes to really make it happen. And Xavi Pascual, well, you know, he's very philosophical about the whole thing. He says, look, you can't always win. And we've had a great season, and that's important. So we are now saying that four seconds has gone on the clock. Yep, four seconds has gone on the clock. 
and it starts again. Rutenka, Juanin, Danny, lovely ball! That's a penalty or a goal! It's a goal! Absolutely wonderful play by Barcelona, and they've started at a rate of knots in this game, this half. Lovely goal, so simple. Look at the movement from Nodisbo, turns and scores. And uh, it would have been a penalty, possibly even two minutes if the goal hadn't been scored, but it's still a full compliment that that's what we want to see. Six against six. Duvniak. Oh, oh my, I thought he was going to break through there. Ball to Lievsky. He's all alone. Back to Mimi Kraus. Ball to the wing. It's Pedersen. He scored an absolute doozy. Oh, the cheek of him. Under the legs of Sterbik. And it's a two-goal game again. Rutenka, Danny, Danny to Grubindo, beautiful pass head to Victor Tomas. Ah, oh, that's tasty. Very tasty indeed. Thought he dropped it, but he managed to recover. And it's a one goal game. Nice play. Yeah, he nearly did, but then managed. Ah, oh, he's done that all, all season long. Victor Tomas, he's worth his weight in gold. 29 28. And now Lievsky to Kraus, to Lievsky to Kraus. Makes the call. Here comes Lievsky now on the move. No, it's into Vori. Vori misses it. Absolutely misses it. Can Sterbik move it quickly? He can. And Vori's out of position. It's six on five. Back to Gurbindo. Out to Victor Tomas. He comes all the way back around again. And there's a little bit of shenanigans into the line. And it's going to be a nine meter throw. And the movement from Juanin there was really good. He was wide open if uh, Gurbindo had seen him. Probably didn't want to risk it at that stage of the game. Oh, beautiful pass again. Same movement. Same result. Unbelievable. Same movement. Same result. Brilliant. 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 And they've scored 3-1. to one. It's 29-29. And Hamburg are throwing it away again. And it's all about who's got the lungs now. Where is the oxygen getting to the brain? Is the brain still able to work? Hamburg looked tired. Oh, this is good. Lievsky, oh, he had a chance, but he didn't want to dare. He didn't want to risk it. It's Kraus all the way to Vorty. And Vorty's missed it, but he's got a penalty. Oh, and the referees called a penalty at an absolutely vital moment of the game. I can't believe it. What are we looking at here? Vorty turns. No one touches him. No one goes near him. Let's have a look again. Vorty. Lit. Oh, unbelievable. I, okay, it's called, it's decided. Saric versus Lindbergh. Saric, he's missed it. Saric, I mean, Lindbergh scored it. Two minutes, 40 seconds gone. Hamburg lead by one. Oh, he nearly got a leg to it. Danny Gurbindo, Gurbindo back into the line to notice Bow. Good defense by Duvniak, and I think he might have got a shove there in the back. They want the floor wipers on. There are two minutes remaining in the game, and it's Hamburg in the lead. Hamburg's to lose, as it's been since about the 50th minute of the game. And somehow or other, this team has managed to come back every single time. Danny starts with it again. Rutenka, he finds Juanin. Rutenka again. Who's the hero? It won't be Rutenka. Nice ball across, but a foul. 3 10 gone in the second period of extra time. And Hamburg are within touching distance of a Champions League. Oh, he's been hit from behind. They've got the, uh, they intercepted the ball. The floor wipers are called on. It's 3 24. One goal game. Ah, Barcelona have to score. And here comes the extra player, the Libero. And Tredios is getting ready just in case it's needed. It must be a plan they have. Maybe to win the game. Well, they need to score, that's for sure. And they do the same little switch again. Oh, it's through for Danny. Oh, he gives it all the way out to Victor Tomas. Victor Tomas can't go alone. Yes, he can. He's fouled. But it's only nine metres and he runs for the ball, and they just need to be calm. No hand for passive play, Rutenka, Rutenka goes alone. Oh, brilliant! That's a great save, that's an amazing save! 
Was Gurbindo hit? I think he was, you know. But the referee decided his arm was free. And now there's only one minute remaining. He wasn't, he was through. And that is another great save from Bitter, who recovered from a torn Achilles tendon to take his place in the knockout stages of the Champions League. And boy, how they've needed him. Save, rebound, Juanin, Gurbindo, Juanin, Tomas, but it's too slow. Back out to the right wing again. All of Barcelona on their feet. I mean, all of their bench. Four minutes, 30 seconds left in the game. The Libero is coming on. Sterbik is coming off, off screen. It's Rutenka, nice ball to the wing. Save! Oh, they've still got it. They've still got it. Juanin missed it. And here is the extra man on this side. 10 seconds remaining. What can they do? It's going to be in though. What's he going to do? He's held up five seconds. Clock is stopped by the referee. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Ball got to move quickly this side. Danny's missed it. He's missed it. The game is over. And Hamburg have won the Velux. EHF Final Four. No, 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 no. Two previous. Two previous. We've got to get the people off the court. The game is not over. There are two seconds remaining. Can there be any more drama in this game? Martin Schwalb has won the Champions League and it's been taken off him because there is still time remaining on the clock. Oh. Oh. And you look at Bitter in that last five minutes. Definitely the better team was Barcelona, but somehow now Rutenka, one shot only, one shot only against the wall of Hamburg. Will he dive headlong to the left? He shoots and he misses. And Hamburg are the champions of the Velux EHF Final Four. Martin Schwab, well, you gotta hand it to him and his team. Look at them celebrate, and boy, do they deserve it. They have been absolutely incredible in this tournament. They only qualified for the Champions League group stages through the wildcard tournament. They've one of the smallest squads. Look at Limburg. I mean... Everything they've ever wanted. Rokas Comas is absolutely disgusted. Barcelona played their part in a 30-29 defeat. But when you look at this team from Hamburg, Pascal Hens yesterday rolled back the years. He can call himself a champion from now on. So can Yogi Bitter. Mimi Kraus can leave Hamburg with a Champions League medal and a Bundesliga medal. Igor Rory will leave with a Champions League medal on his way to Paris Saint-Germain. There's not much you can say except commiserations to the losers, Barcelona. But it seems...